The Halloween events have returned to GTA Online this week for 2023 and this means the infamous slasher event and phantom car event have made their return. In this video I'll be explaining how these events can be started as well as how they work so let's get into it. Let's first talk about the slasher events. These events will spawn at certain locations across both Los Santos and Blaine County and they consist of four different types of random serial killers that can spawn in a session. The four types of killer slashers are the clown, the psycho, the driver and lastly the sack slasher. Each slasher has a different location in which they can spawn and attack the player. First of all, in this purple highlighted circle on the map, this is where the killer clown can spawn. So as long as you're in this area, you can be approached by the clown. Now as for the psycho slasher, they can spawn in four different areas of the map, shaded in the four pink circles. If you're in this area, the psycho slasher will spawn. Next for the driver, there is two possible locations for his spawn, highlighted by these two orange circles on the map. One is in the city and one is further across on the map. Finally, for the sack slasher to spawn, he will be in this large circle at the top area of this map. So, for each slasher, as long as you're in these highlighted areas with the requirements, which I will go over next, then the slashers will spawn. So, for the requirements, it's fairly straightforward, but you do need to follow them in order to spawn any of the slashers. First of all, you must be in free roam. This means you can't be inside of a building. Instead, you must be outside. Now, here comes the important part. It must be between the in-game time of 9pm and 5 am for these slashes to spawn any other time and they will not next you must be on foot or inside of a normal vehicle this means no weaponized or special vehicles such as the oppressor mark ii or any aircrafts like that just a regular ground vehicle finally at least 15 minutes have passed since you joined a session for the slashes to spawn now if you do receive a slasher then you will know by the red icon appearing on the map and certain slashes do have sound effects followed by them so you can easily recognize your slasher if you head towards a slasher they will try and kill you some have knives and others have different melee weapons however you can still kill them even though their health is a lot stronger just use a gun to take them out but they will definitely require more than one magazine to kill because they have a lot more health now finally allow me to explain the doppelganger slasher this is the fifth variant of the slasher event and this event includes your very own character being duplicated with a weapon to chase after you essentially it's a more powerful version of your character that's trying to kill you and for this to spawn the requirements are exactly the same as the other slashes however this version will spawn in any of the highlighted areas it doesn't matter which area you're in as long as you're in that area it will still spawn in any of them there is however a 50 percent chance of the doppelganger to spawn as most of the time the regular slashers will spawn in replacement to the doppelganger you can kill your own slasher but be aware because again they do have a lot more health moving on to the christine car or known as the phantom car this is yet another event that was added today and again it's fairly simple to activate if you don't know the phantom car is a driverless vehicle which will stalk you and then set on fire killing you if it gets the chance for this to spawn again like the slashes you must be in free roam and not inside of any buildings and the time in game must be between 9 pm and 5 am for it to spawn, you must not be inside of any weaponized vehicles like the oppressor or any aircraft, again, just a regular vehicle. Now the final criteria is that there has to be a minimum of two players in the session for it to spawn. When it does spawn, it will approach you if you're on foot, set on fire, and it will try running you over. However, if you're inside of a vehicle, it will simply stalk you until you get out of it. It can very easily kill you, so be aware of that. You can try and stop it by using explosives, but you probably just end up dying anyway. That is all for this video. If it did help, be sure to drop a like on it, as well as subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.